Hey guys, welcome back to SAS Track. Today, I am going to talk about one of the fantastic tools, SERPSTAT. It is an SEO and PPC specialist and one of the best keyword research tools available. To those who are not aware of this tool and hearing this word for the first time, I am going to tell you the complete functionality of SERPSTAT and how it works and what it's for. So let's get started with SERPSTAT. We can directly start from the main page itself. So here we can sign in. So you can check with any website. Add the domain or any product name which you wish to search. Then choose the location over here. Then click on search. Let's say images for example. Click search. It leads you to a new page where you can get the complete overview of the product. And there are really five main sections, which include website analysis, keyword research, backlink analysis, rank tracker, site audit, and tools. This is the main aspect that we can see all these features all in one single SEO tool. Okay, so going through, you can see user interface. The data is appropriately visible, along with intuitive graphs and precise terminology. Here, you can analyze various sites. Getting started, add the domain name or product name in the search bar provided where you can get the complete overview of the product. If you go to the domain analysis section by clicking over here and then choosing domain analysis, you can get the complete overview of the domain along with a visibility rank, SE traffic, organic keywords, ads, keywords, the number of words in PPC, keyword distribution, etc. Then you have an amazing feature below where you can see the graphical representation of the visibility trends for a year and a half along with top pages related to the domain competitors in organic search, along with competitors in ads. So you can gain a complete overview of the backlinks, rank tracker, site audit, etc. Now let's go deeper into SEO research over here. In this section, you can get a clear outlook of the keywords, competitors, domain versus domain, subdomains, top pages, etc. Starting with the competitors section, in this part, you can see the relevant websites which have common keywords and common topics from them. Let's say apple.com for example. Click search. So over here, you can change the list of competitors. You can either add new ones or delete the unwanted ones from there and then click apply. So yeah, let's say you want to delete Wikipedia and Amazon for example. Then you can also add like a new one, let's say Spotify.com. So yes, you can simply add or remove, then click apply when you're done. Besides the competitors, you can also get the complete list of the keywords over here, along with their keyword difficulty, position, organic traffic volume, etc. Moving ahead, you can have the domain versus domain analysis, where you can enter other domains or select one from the below suggested domains and compare them with yours to know where you stand in the crowd. Let's say Google for example and it will automatically appear as the second domain then click on compare. So this is an example of a comparison between two domains Apple and Google. Next is subdomains. You can have the list of subdomains here along with their organic keywords and view the top pages. So here are the top pages along with their organic keywords and potential traffic. You can also get the complete visibility of keywords by clicking tree view. So here are the keywords in a tree view along with posts, Google search volume, CPC in dollars, competition in PPC, etc. Having backlink analysis is also quite easy. Let's scroll down. 
and click Backlink Analysis. Then let's click Backlink Dashboard. So get the complete overview of your domain along with referring domains, link domains, follow or no follow links, domain links, etc. Beneath this section, you can see the graphical representation of the referring domains, unique backlink history, new and lost backlinks, anchors, map of domains, etc. You can get the quick link of the referring domains or pages by clicking referring domains over here and referring pages respectively. You can also know about the external links by clicking external links. So you can see both new and lost. You can also view the top pages. Here we go. As well as the competitors. Moving ahead, you can monitor your competitors' web page rankings daily using the SERPstat rank tracking tool. So let's click Rank Tracker over here. So you can check for keywords, competitors, URLs, etc. So let's say keywords, for example. So simply click Add New Project. and get access to global analysis of top 100 results for each monitored keyword. Divide keywords into groups and monitor how positions are changing within a certain group and monitor the market share distribution. Next is Site Audit. This is the technical SEO section when you can set up your project. It provides you a detailed history of the comprehensive analysis of the issues in your site based on the hierarchy of middle priority, high priority, etc. Among all, one best thing which I will touch here is the custom overview. You can set up your site and train the crawler to visit only the sites that have a minimum issue and avoid the pages with high priority issues. Now, let's take a look at pricing. One of the best things about SERPstat is that they have a very, very low introductory plan with all the major features provided. Here are the four plans, Light, Standard, Advanced, Enterprise. Each plan provides access to 230 Google and 9 Yandex databases to have search analytics, position tracking, backlink analysis, site audit, and many others. You can get an additional 20% off if you purchase the yearly plan. And if you wish to get more discount, then click on the link provided in the description below. So this was a quick tour about SERPstat, and now it's time for you to be on the front seat, sign up for a free trial using the link mentioned in the description below, and try these features for yourself. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then click on the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. If you like this video, then hit the like button, or if you have any questions, then write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.